going to be a wild day, y'all. I'll bring you along. Well, yeah, in the light of day. Isn't that lovely? Today we're having shop class. And that's par for the course. Got the phone call. Time for seed and lunch. And this is just like a struggle for me. Nobody wants soggy pies. It's getting hot over here. You don't want them soggy or seepy. <laughs> okay. You see that? Okay. I gotta leave some for the rest of the family. These are a winner winner. Okay. I know the boys have been busy. I've been stuck on the computer doing some things, but there's just a lot going on. Just got back from guitar. Got a truck full of groceries, but daddy needs help, so we're gonna help. Gotta load the hopper with some seed. Yeah. So much going on, y'all. This is Sorghum Sudan. This is going to be for hay. Groceries up. Hopefully, they didn't get too hot. <laughs> oh. Poor Bonnie. Hers, hers got drool dripping all the way on the floor because hers starving. <laughs> or watched her family eat. You got mud on you, girl. Where have you been? She lays here. She does this when we eat supper and she drools. It's like hanging down to the floor. You're so rotten. Trust me. She is not starving. No, you're not. We had beef and broccoli tonight. It was very good. Leftovers. 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 The farmer is still in the field. I have no idea. I don't even actually know exactly where he is, but I'm scared to ask because I've asked so many times and I keep getting confused because there's so many different places where he's planting and I cannot keep it all straight and I just need to write it in my notes in my phone or something, but maybe I'll do that. But I haven't done it yet, so I really don't know where he is. <sighs> anyway, hopefully, I mean, he called me, so I know he's fine. Um, he called to make sure that the house wasn't burning down because another neighbor called and said that there was smoke, but it's not here. I think the neighbor was burning trash. I think so. So, anywho, I'm about to head out the door to a Farm Bureau meeting. I will be late tonight, but I sure hope he's home by the time I get back. Uh, it's a good chance he might not be. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I really did a number on my skillet tonight. I really did. Um, because I put cornstarch on the meat, um, which helps thicken up the sauce that I do with it, but, um, yeah, she's a doozy, but this is just to show, excuse me, how amazing the ringer is. This little buddy right here, this can take care of anything, y'all, it's nothing. I can't hold this, I can't hold it and hold the phone, but it, look, Amazing. Easy peasy mac and easy. Somebody put that on a tea. Oh yeah. Mm, nope, won't be making that meeting. I will be darned. Okay, we'll just do this. Well, yeah, in the light of day. Isn't that lovely? Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't see it. It must be on the bottom. 
Anyway, huge bolt. This poor truck just can't catch a break. Just can't catch a break. <sighs> oh my goodness, y'all. There's so much to do today. Truly a lot going on. Um, our friend John is coming in town to help for a few days to help with planting. It's really that big river bottom. Burp, 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 burp. Take two. That big river bottom. He's going to be planting the um, Sudan Cross. It's called Sweet Grazer or something like that. Hey. And then Lawrence is going to keep planting something. <laughs> I actually made a list today on my phone in my notes of, of the different fields, the names, and what's going in each one because I can't keep it straight. So I don't have to keep asking Lawrence. Anyway, I need to do some cleaning. I need to go over to Papa's and do some stuff because that's where John's going to be staying. Like, wash the sheets. That would be good. Um, I need to take trash out. I need to vacuum. I need to um, do some work stuff and then help with whatever needs helping with. Uh, I need to put something in the crock pot. See, it, when I talk this out, I think of all the things that I've already forgotten. And so I was coming to my truck to take stuff somewhere, but then realized I can't use my truck. So I'm gonna have to use Lawrence's. It's just gonna have to work because the mule is not here either. The boys are not here. They're out doing. So anyway, it's gonna be a wild day, y'all. I'll bring you along. <laughs> Later, later, Papa's grass is way overdue for mowing. You gonna help me? All right, we got this. I also think I'm gonna have to change my tire today, y'all. I'm just gonna put the spare on for now until I can get to the tire shop. Uh, yeah. I think it's fine. You think it's fun? I don't think it's fun. So, um, story time. I have changed a tire only once. I was, I don't know how old I was, but I was working in my feed job at the time. I had been working at a horse show in Lexington, Virginia. It was in the summer. It was terribly hot. Um, I was coming home, coming down I-81, which is like the major, major, major interstate, coming down Shenandoah Valley. Um, tire blue. Lawrence is like, I don't know, four hours away. I called him. I didn't know what to do. He said, you're going to have to change your tire. Okay. So I had no clue what I was doing. I got out the manual. He tried to talk me through it. That didn't work very well. I just got the manual. I followed the directions. I changed it. And I was very proud of myself. And I was on the interstate and all these people passed by. Did anybody stop to help me? No, nobody, which maybe that's a good thing because people these days. But anyway, I did it once. Surely I could do it again. You think I can? Hopefully. I was just telling them the story about me having to change the tire. Well, I just came out here and he's let me know that he's gonna change it for me. He and Wesley are gonna do it right now. So I will let them. So the kids are gonna learn how to change the tire today. What's the side of the already has, but anyway. And every time I walk on my porch, this is this is still what I see. And I'm still having a hard time trying to figure out what what to do. Um don't want to shun the sheep to the barn. But I also don't want to put gates up at every step, at every entryway. Um I'm seriously thinking about Fencing in this, like that basketball area that we use with like some, uh, what would that be? <sighs> think Meredith, think, 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 think. Um, there's a certain type of fence and it's just not coming to my mind. Woven wire, woven wire. Okay. We have a winner. I'm thinking about maybe doing that so they can be close to the house. We can still let them out so they can graze around the yard and such, but not live on the porch. So we'll see. Get the jack. Jack, jack, jack. I know this is one of the most important things. Where you put the jack. Hey, tight. Okay, before I forget, ribs. 
I got two packs of ribs. I'm gonna put some brown musket powder. Can never have too much. Brown label. And then I put a heaping teaspoon, tablespoon, something, big spoonful of beef base with a cup of water. Um, I might put a little salt just because for good measure. And that's it, y'all. My very favorite way to do ribs. Crock pot. Finish in the oven with some barbecue sauce on broil. And supper. Supper's going. Woohoo! I missed it. The truck rolled forward. That's not good. It came off the jack. Luckily, nobody was injured. <sighs> mm -hmm. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Through the top of that main spring of hose. Mm -hmm. You'll have to. You put it under the main spring instead of the axle. Puppy is in her box and she's not happy Let about it. Out. Let him out. Okay. It sounded like a horseshoe going down the road. Yeah, it did. It sounded like a big, huge stick or something. I knew it was bad. I saw it last night. I mean, it's just... That's good. Can I be a part of this? <laughs> oh, Gus. I want to be in the middle of it. <laughs> Look at him. Sissy gets to help me. Is it hard? <laughs> they give you the hardest part at the end. A new um, battery powered impact gun, wrench gun, whatever you want to call it. Well, I hope I get the one right across from it. Go diagonally. Hit it, hit this little more. All right, now get the one across from these. I right, hit your other one. Today we're having shop class. <laughs> All right. Hit. All right. That was good. Let go all the way around and check. Hey, y'all. Interrupting this video for some kitchen time. We are going to do something different and something fun again with North Carolina's prize possession sweet potatoes yes thank you to the north carolina sweet potato commission for sponsoring this video and be sure to check out their website ncsweetpotatoes.com for any and all amazing sweet potato facts and recipes uh, today we are going to do something i'm calling sweet potato hand pies um I'm loosely basing this off of one of my favorite childhood sweets that my Granny Grace would make, which was Apple Jacks. They were fried apple pies that were amazing. We're going to do it two ways. I'm going to fry some and I'm going to bake some. So, let's get to it. Okay, so to do this, we're going to need two medium sweet potatoes, some sugar, some vanilla. I'm going to use pumpkin pie spice, butter and pie crust. Okay, y'all, listen to me. I opted for the easy route, route route. I opted for the easy way out today. I decided to use store-bought Pillsbury pie crust because um, that's just what I wanted to do. You could certainly make your own pie crust if you make amazing pie crust. I do not. haven't mastered that one yet. Um, you could use that, but for the sake of this recipe and this video, we're going with these bad boys. You could also easily do this with canned biscuits or biscuit dough rolled out. Um, either way, but we're going this way. So you're going to want to cook your sweet potatoes. I like to do mine in the microwave. Um, these took about 10, 12 minutes, I believe is what I did. Just um, cook them. I'd cook them 10 minutes to begin with and then pierce them with a fork and see if they're, if it goes all the way through and they're tender, then they're done. If not, keep them in there a little bit longer. You could also boil them or you could bake them. I just find this to be quick and easy. And that's kind of my jam. All right, then you're just gonna mash them up. 
I'm gonna put what I'm calling a splash of vanilla. <laughs> Uh, about two tablespoons or so of butter. Work with me, it's really soft because it's warm in here. Um, a half a cup-ish sugar and some pumpkin pie spice, I don't know, teaspoon-ish or two. All right, now we're gonna stir that up. And then if you're like me and you just can't help it, and because it's best practice when you're cooking, you're gonna taste a little bit of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that'll do. All right, since I'm gonna do both ways, we're gonna put the oven on preheat to 425. And we're gonna get some oil going here. You could use Crisco or vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil. And get that bad boy fired up. You're gonna want it to get to at least 350, between 350 and 375. Otherwise, you're liable to have soggy pies and nobody wants soggy pies. Am I right? I think so. Okay, now for the fun part. I am using a three inch biscuit cutter that's a little um, wonky, but it'll work. Uh, you could use a cookie cutter. You could use a glass if you want, whatever you've got. And we're gonna, we're gonna punch these babies out. And then we're gonna take each one and roll them out just a little bit more. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see, maybe we can put all these together and make another one. It won't be pretty, but we'll see if it works. Okay, we're gonna roll it. I got this little mini baby roller. It's like an antique roller. I've never seen one like it, but it's precious and I love it. It was a gift from a viewer and I love it. And just make sure it's all there. Anyway, I think it is. Um, so I'm gonna try it just because I think it's just the right size. I think it's gonna be fun. Okay. All right, little baby roller. Are you gonna roll? Oh, you're gonna stick. That's all right, it's all good. Okay, once we have them all cut out, we're gonna roll them just a little wider, okay? You want them just a little bit, like three and a half-ish. I don't, I don't know, I'm not good with measurements. But anyway, we want them a little wider. We want them a little bigger. So that's what we're doing. And here's the thing, y'all, we can't put a whole lot. We're not gonna put a whole lot of that filling. It's getting hot over here. Because otherwise, it's going to all seep out, and we don't want it to seep out. We don't want them soggy or seepy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just put one tablespoon. <laughs> one day, I'm going to get, I'm going to use my tripod one day, maybe. Um, so, I just put one tablespoon. If I said teaspoon, I meant tablespoon, okay? And then, okay, hold on. Then we're gonna get really fancy and we're gonna have a little bowl with some water. We're gonna moisten, for those of y'all that love that word, we're gonna moisten the edges like so. That's just gonna help it stick. We're gonna stick them down like that. And then, and then we're gonna take a fork and we're gonna crimp the edges like so. Isn't that pretty? It will be. Okay, and we have a pie. We have a pie. We have a little pie ready to go. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of them and then we're gonna start cooking. Okay, we're gonna put those in. And then if you have some leftover filling, you can always just um, eat it. Okay, the grease is hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're just gonna do a few at a time. Mm. All, right. All right, it takes less than two minutes. That's what I'm finding. And they get good and golden brown. Flip them over. Okay, y'all. Because I'm never gonna share anything with you that I don't Oh my gosh, whoops, that fell, shucks. Anywho, I'm not gonna share anything with you 
that I don't 100% love as well. It's just, it's falling apart a little bit. Um, here we have baked and we have fried. Okay. Baked. It's so yummy. It's basically a sweet potato pie in a pocket. Oh, okay. Whoops, I was supposed to eat the fried one. All right, now fried. These fried up so pretty, y'all, look. You see that? They fried up so pretty and crispy. Mmm, okay. How's it taste though? Mmm. You see that? It's perfect. Mmm. I'm kind of partial to the fried ones, but they both taste amazing. It's just something about fried dough and sweet, delicious sweet potato. Okay. I got to leave some for the rest of the family. These are a winner winner. Sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pocket. Maybe I should call them that. Sweet potato pan pie after dinner. I'm going to stop while I'm not ahead. Anywho, you should try these. You'll be able to find the recipe at thisfarmwife.com. Okay. Sweet potato hand pies. That's what we're calling them. That's what we're going with. Um, thank you again, North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission. Head, I'm, I'm serious, head to their site for all the amazing sweet potato recipes. They have tons and tons. It's just, it's an amazing, versatile vegetable. And I'm proud to be from North Carolina, the leading producer of sweet potatoes in our country. We hang our hat on that. Okay, I really gotta be done. The puns are getting to be too much. changing the cups from the hoppers from sorghum to bean from sorghum to bean cups you missed the going from the sorghum oh so you've got three kinds of cups corn sorghum and beans that's right okay all right i'm learning screw this out and then what turn up Yes, sir. <laughs> Last one. The pool is clearing up. Except for that. We'll get that when they can actually get in. But, seeing as how it's going to be in the 90s the next seven days, I have a feeling they will be in. I think spring is leaving and summer is coming. It's been so nice. Not gonna complain, it's been really nice. I feel like we've held on to spring later this year than normal, so. We'll take what we can get. Okay, the seed tractor kid shuffling commences. Um, it's hot, y'all. It, it's 81. Hard to believe it was in the 60s the last two days. Anyway, all right, so this is what's happening. We have we have two, two guys planting, Lawrence and our friend John. Austin has gone with John to man the seed to help him refill. Hanging out in the shade. Hanging out in the shade today. Mm -hmm. And then Wesley is going with Lawrence. So I'm going to drive the seed truck because it's the ton truck. Um, Wes hasn't mastered yet, but you'll do that soon. You could probably drive it. I just don't like feeling the seat. Oh. It's so heavy, I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Okay. He can't drive. drive it. Yeah, you know how to drive it. Anyway, I'm going to take the seed truck down there and then leave him to help with the seed. And then I'm going to come back and do a few things like mow some grass that's knee high. Um, and then go back and check on y'all. Make sure everything's okay. Do you have something to drink? Here we go again, Bonnie. On this long red bumpy dirt road. 
<laughs> oh, we have a traffic jam. Bart's in front, Wesley in the middle, me in the back. You gotta go slow. But you gotta go slow on this road anyway. Here we are again. Up just enough where they ain't in the ground. I'm gonna go through here a little bit. We want about nine seed per foot, roughly. If it's 12, that's fine because it ain't but 8% germination. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna go with that. Well, evidently, the other tractor has some kind of hydraulic hose bus some kind of issue. So now we're going over there. <laughs> Dirt. Um, that's par for the course. Full bunny to start. to have these ramps they've come in so handy best gift awesome gift we got thank you sure is nice not to have to uh lift this by hand <laughs> well um i started supper i got maybe halfway through <clears throat> and got the phone call out of foam marker and water. So, Bonnie and I are heading back to the field. Tis planting season. <laughs> Wes has made himself a little little campsite here on the, on the bags of empty bags. He came prepared in that little cooler bag there. That thing's nice. That little Carhartt bag I got. He's got books, and you said you've already read 100 pages? 50. 50. He read half of a book. Oh, I'm proud of you. That's good. Hanging out in the shade. It's not bad, is it? We got here, it was sunny, but it. Yeah. Went, so 30 minutes later, it got dark. Very good. So, he's still planting. Um, he's going to. Evidently, he was not completely out, so he's going to let it come run completely out and then fill it back up. Feels pretty good out here, doesn't it, Bonnie? <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? In the shade. Yes, Mommy, it does. Alrighty. I was cooking supper. Turned everything off. <laughs> okay, back to the house. I think he's probably gonna still be here for a while. Not sure how John's doing. He's way down there and whoops. Okay, it's 9.15. Nobody's home yet. Um, I haven't gotten any calls. I hope everything's okay. It's very dark. I'm assuming they're planting with the lights of the tractor. Supper is done. I'm finishing it up. I had it kind of waiting and now I'm kind of like trying to finish it up. But um, this is just where we're at. And I feel kind of bad because I'm here and they're all out there. The kids are still out there with them. And um, I just hope... Sorry, I had to stir the potatoes. I just hope everything's okay. And this is just like a struggle for me because I feel like I'm not doing anything. I'm not like a part of what's going on. And it's so late and they're all out there. But supper's ready. <laughs> and hopefully they get home soon. Oh. Okay, I got a call to come pick them up. Here they are. Look at them. 